What is up my dudes? It is BB Warrior 13 coming at you with another video loadout today. Today we're going to be talking about my Eagle Industries Operator Gun Belt. <laughs> First and foremost, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the most recent video content I'm putting out for you guys. This is a Eagle Industries Operator Gun Belt. I have a review of this belt itself and I will post that up here in the cards above so you guys can check out the review of this belt if you decide to purchase this belt. Now this is just a loadout or setup video of my current duty belt to give you guys ideas. We'll start obviously center line of the belt. We have the cobra buckle here. Now this is the my support side or left hand side of my belt. I have a small S beaner here, not low rated whatsoever, attached to the small piece of retaining nylon that holds the D ring. Now this can obviously be used for any assortment of things but what it mainly is used for is to attach and secure my set of gloves my pigs gloves mechanics gloves whatever you can always I also have used this for chem light bundles holding ear pro whatever you need to you can just clip it on there and then have it dangle from your uh, the front of your belt Nalgene bottles what have you now moving on I have two uh, double stack pistol pouches from Eagle Industry. These are their Kydex uh, bungee retainers. Now with this pouch, you can take the bungee off if you don't want to run the pouch with it because it does, like I stated, it has a Kydex insert that will retain the magazine. This is just for extra retention for my job and my requirements. This is um, required for myself. So I've got two of those. Moving over, I've got the Haley Strategic SSP. I have a video review of this mag pouch itself and I'll post that up here in the cards up above. But I've got the bungee retainer here on the mag pouch itself. And it does have the MP2 Kydex insert from Haley Strategic which comes with the pouch whenever you purchase it. And again, the bungee retainer here, obviously for extra retention on the magazine for doing all kinds of fun stuff. Now, moving to the back side of my belt. Unlike popular opinion, I do not run a first aid kit center line on my back. I just find that it's uncomfortable to do so. But I do run a dump pouch. This is the Cry Precision Roll Up Dump Pouch. Instead of having a molly attachment system, it uses Velcro with this hook and loop field that attaches to the pouch, which can then index into a plate carrier or a belt system. I run, I decided to run it here. Very slim, small, your back doesn't, it rolls flat, so it doesn't interfere with running a rucksack, load carrying equipment, whatever. Moving along, I have the Mystery Ranch Nalgene pouch, obviously to carry a Nalgene bottle, a nice 32 ounce Nalgene. But with that, you can also hold any additional mission essential equipment, whether it be smoke grenades, flashbangs, whatever. Moving over, this is just a random pistol mag pouch. I don't remember who actually makes this. I've had it for many years. It's kind of been a staple on any one of my belt kits that I've ever ran. It just holds a simple Gerber. Obviously you need a Gerber. It's just like, you know, the thing to fix all things. It's always nice to have. Now moving over, I have the Safari Lane QLS system for my SIG P320. Now like stated, the QLS forks on a True North Concepts plate 
which I have a review of that as well on my channel. I'll post that in the cards above. I have truly enjoyed running this system much better than the Safari Land Midland Drop. And then follow on to that, a new piece of equipment to my belt would be the Soil Eater Tactical uh, Tourniquet Pouch. All right, my dudes, that is my current duty setup. Thank you guys for sticking around and checking out this video. Don't forget to be the cool guy or gal that go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that sub button. And I appreciate all your guys' support. If you guys want me to answer any questions or look up certain pieces of equipment, go ahead and drop down into the comment section down below and ask away to see what pieces of equipment you guys like to see me review and or showcase here on the channel. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.